Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our match preview for Ireland versus Turkey. And um, I suppose we'll just. just what, are we, what are we expecting? You know, I, I, we're not really that enthusiastic about, the, about this match. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, we're not in a World Cup. Mm, we're, yeah. we're, we're miserable. You can't say it grabs the appetite, does it really? No. You know, the kind of. The, in in a weird in a weird type of way that the, the the game of league or, or league of Ireland fixtures is nearly more appealing. And the stupid yeah. thing is, is they're on the same night. Yeah, yeah. RT yeah. are doing a double. They're showing the match uh, on half five on Friday. This and is then, information, by the way. Yeah, and then they're going straight into. I don't know which League of Ireland match it is, but they're going straight from that into a League of Ireland match as soon as the match is finished. Yeah, it's going to be two. It's probably Waterford and Rovers. Yeah, it might be. I think it, but it's good. Like you know. Good At least they're trying to get their act together and get more games on there. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. Um, the game we'll see itself. The, the league get more exposed because what we need if we want this this team to evolve, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need it. Do you know what I mean? I look at the amount of players in the squad now that have come from the league. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We should look at our Tristy League Player of the Year is in the squad now, and we're exactly. all depend on him to be, you know, our, our fucking save. Yeah, like, we always have a new save. And then, oh, <laughs> every every six <laughs> months, the new ways. Declan Royce is the new one now. <laughs> it's very. I think it, it, it's you know it's the first match since we got hammered by Denmark, and it's kind of. So depressing, and it's not a match that's going to capture the imagination being at half five on a Friday. And if you look at the rugby there on on Saturday, you know more people watch that match than yeah. any Ireland match at the at the Euros. And you're kind of going, oh, what's the next Ireland football match? Turkey at half five on Friday, and they're not going to the World Cup. To be honest, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I've missed it. I missed the buzz. The only the, the, only, the only thing I'm I actually love international break because we get the chance to do these type of videos. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but that that uh, then this part of me is just like I'm very negative towards man on me. He's just he's just in the last six to eight months he's just really annoyed me with his negativity mm. just all the time and he's arguing with journalists mm -hmm. and arguing with but reporters. do you think he's kind of trying to turn over a new leaf like just listen to the car come over there like he gave the journals access to training today and he's trying to create this positive buzz around the place so it's only because the game doesn't mean anything probably but you'd, you'd the, I do I'd agree with you I think, I think like I'd, ho I'd like to think that he's you know just trying to turn over a new leaf because Look, he has to look himself in the mirror afterwards and just realise how much of a dick he was, really. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't do anyone any good, really. And then there was the whole contract saga, etc., etc. So mm. hopefully there's a bit of positivity back. Talking to Kevin Coban there a few months ago, good friend of mine, and he, uh, <laughs> he was saying that he, he was about two months ago there, and he was saying that they need to get all the journalists and Martin O'Neill into room, no, like get off the record and just sit down and say, look, these are ours. And I'm sure the press have issues about the football, but at the end of the day, they just want what's best for the Ireland team. And so we want to think Martin O'Neill does as well. And um, some of them just like to be controversial. Though. I would agree. No, some of them do go out there, but the likes of Tony O'Donoghue like doesn't. You know, he's out there just to. He's kind of the voice of the, yeah, the he's fans. The voice I think. Yeah, of no, he really yeah. We seen him at the Bowls game a couple of weeks when I was talking to him. I was just, man, I thought Martin was a bit, you know, harsh on you. He goes, yeah, a few people said that to me, and then I, I was just like, you know, he, he, I go, I thought your your questions were quite fair. Mm -hmm. Like you, you didn't like maliciously go out there and start going. You know, you didn't do this. You didn't. You you asked. No, absolutely. You didn't. You, didn't, you know. I think it's water off a duck's back for Tony Dunne. I don't really think he's getting caught up in it. Going, he doesn't. You know, he's been mean. He laughs it off. Yeah, but I I think that it comes across the rest of us going. Why is he being hostile to? You just hold stuff for Kevin. I will, Kev. Hey, yeah, man. <laughs> Available to buy all good bookstores. Follow me on Twitter. I'll definitely be like, Kevin, you know what all good bookstores? There's other books available. Um, no, but like, I will, you know, Martin O'Neill, if he wants to get us back on side, like all of us back on side, like it was leading up to the Euros, where, yes, we weren't exactly happy with the, we're never exactly happy with the style of football, but, if you're getting results out of it, it's yeah. effective, yeah, who I, cares? I think it's it reminds me a little bit of Trapattoni staying on, where there was zero change after the French match, let's say. Mm. And uh, I remember even after the Euros, he kind of switched to like a 4-3-3. But it was yeah. the same style of football, except with one striker. <laughs> and I just I just feel like this is going to be something similar. And even the squad announcement was very underwhelming. I was expecting, like I was even saying to you like a few weeks ago, I was expecting a couple of kind of granny rural kind of wild cars like James Madison of an orange and um, even I don't know even Bamford well, I know Bamford's kind of said last week he, he might play for us but I mean I thought there'd be a couple this, of lads like that this is a big issue I have and I know you're a big fan of Liam Kelly and we're, we're, we're going to speak about no I'm now. not anymore <laughs> <laughs> was, I was this, a big this, fan this is a big issue I have with players who you know they think that they want 
to play for Ireland. But you either you either want to play or you don't. Yeah. Mm. You either want to wear that green shirt or fuck off because we don't want you. If you have to think about it, see you later. Yeah. I think I think yeah. now this is just kind of you know conspiracy theory here. Um, this should be good. I think a lot of <laughs> what is <laughs> so back in the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> I think I think agents are having a huge say these days in um, in what national team players are playing for. Uh, Grealish gets a lot of flack. I think Tim Sherwood and his agent and his dad had a big say in that. Thought Grealish seemed pretty settled playing for Ireland, and even with Kelly today. I actually thought Kelly was born in Dublin and just moved to no, uh, moved to London, moved but it turns out he's he's always been there. But even you know, there's guys. I I always feel because even like I mean I'm not not that I could have played for Portugal, but I'm of Portuguese descent and I'm quite proud of it. Um, no, I don't think <laughs> not Ronaldo's cousin, but I I, <laughs> I don't I don't I don't think we can measure. Um, I don't think we can measure how these guys feel, and That's I think it, exactly. and I think there's a lot of guys who are genuinely interested. And I think there are people pulling their arms in other directions. Yeah. Um. Because even if you if you look at the few games we played over in London, um, we played over in Craven College a few times. Played Italy there. Man. <laughs> yeah. Played well, Italy man, we played yeah. Italy, played Colombia about ten years ago. And if you looked at the um, if you looked at the coverage beforehand, it was all English uh, born people, all yeah. English accents and Irish jerseys. There is because I mean I I was born in London myself and I have family over there and. There's you, a very you strong connection. Huh? You <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to declare for England now when but we leave here. It's yeah. one of those things you can't get yeah, inside awesome. someone's head and yeah. define their Irishness yeah, for them it's or funny, their like, nationality. It's funny you brought up Kilban earlier on because he's a guy that spoke extremely passionately yeah. about this, mm. and you know he's got monster. The first chapter. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Again, available all good books. <laughs> but um, no, but it's interesting because like growing up as a kind of ignorant. You know, it's always like, oh, English voice, etc. What is he doing even playing for? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you hear the story about, you know, we had to move and like he always supported Ireland, you know, he's very passionate, like he still follows the GA, etc. etc. Yeah. Rice uh, as well, like Rice has come out yeah, today and been yeah. like, you know, uh, so, it's always been Ireland. So you, you, you do need to know what goes on behind the closed yeah. doors and what, like, you don't know what sort of environment he's, he was brought up with. And, yeah. But even the, st- the story side of things, like McGeady and Mc, uh, not McLean, McCarthy more or less declared when they were children. Yeah. yeah. And we still give it. Well, I don't, but most of us don't. But a lot of people still give out about them, and they're guys who declared when they were, you know, for their voices had even broken. Like no, I think it, it does. It does hurt back to this. It's an attitude thing that we have because it's kind of come from a media kind of not bias, but a media kind of snobbery of going. Well, all the players are English, you know, because they're kind of South Dublin and kind of elites and in kind of it. The Times and stuff are all from rugby backgrounds. You can tell we're from the north side. Yeah, well, they're all... <laughs> but it, no, you know, it, it well, is that uh, kind of thing. Know, like Brady, Hendrick and so on. Yeah, yeah and, and, and it is that kind of thing that, oh, they're all English. And then and Jack Charlton did go out and just get players who had no idea they were some way Irish. And that, that's where it's come from. But and we wouldn't have had some great experiences if it exactly, wasn't yeah. more that, I um, think. And Matty Holt. Matty Holt, yeah, there you go. Well, like, that's <laughs> it. And, and if, if I was to discover tomorrow that, you know, I had some some sort of other Scottish maybe or, or something a grandparent from Scotland that I didn't know about I'd kind of be like oh wow and you want to feel pride in that like I don't know Cyrus Christie's situation but I always got that impression if he only found out quite late in his life that he had an Irish connection and he was like this is something I want to I explore, want to explore and, be proud et cetera, et cetera, and that's fine but if you're kind of if you're coming up to the system and it might be a bit hypocritical of us to say when we did kind of do this to the north, which isn't the same situation. No, but you yeah. kind of say, "But we all take their Catholic play." <laughs> yeah, that's it. You come up and you say, "Oh, I've played under twenty-one. I played under 19 and then you say, "I'm actually going to play for England because the opportunities might be better for me financially." I it's think awesome. I think agents have a that. big a big thing to do with it, and even and Lee Carsley, but Lee Carsley even um, big fan of Lee Carsley. But he, his job with the FA was to stop other players going to other national teams. Um, he was offered. He offered himself. himself free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so God. I mean, but <laughs> even, yeah. ever. but if, but even if you look, no. Yeah. But there's, there's always been, you know, the anchor man. Yeah. Stopping things, getting in. Yeah. So they should have known. Yeah. It's uh, no. I, I think I think we can't get inside these guys' heads. And there's plenty of people in in the UK who are beyond proud of being Irish and consider themselves more yeah. more Irish than English. Even look at um, like I oh, again. I'm not going to speak for Grealish. I think he's other bits and pieces going on from inside there. But I mean, I think he seemed very content until um, 
Tim Sherwell came on board there at Villa. Mm. And I think I think agents and other people have a lot to do with it. But then again, like if you're so into it, like Rice, you just do it. But uh, the one know. thing I'd say about Jack Grealish is he's got a phenomenal haircut. And oh, phenomenal calves. Oh, unbelievable. Cal- calves oh, of it. I'm not a fan of his haircut. Oh, I think it's brilliant. Ca- calves of it. Because oh, no, yeah. he wears a shin guard so low. Oh, legend. Yeah. Anyway, no, he's not a legend, but like he's, just, you know, just. He's. He's. <laughs> just he's looking. Just added that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a beep. He's looking, he's looking decent this season. I think he's. Well, never mind. Anyway, uh, the, this match. Uh, <laughs> what Turkey. Well, yeah, Turkey. Well, <laughs> what, are we, um, what, are we, what are we wary of? I mean, you're looking at Cenk Tolson at Everton. He's got four goals the last mm. three games. I think he's a very good player. I watch him close. You probably watched him most than that. Anyways, he's a decent player. I think. He? I, uh, like, he's, he's. I think. You know, there might be people who give me stick for this, but I do think he's a better, he's a lot better at taking the ball in and giving it and bringing other players around him. Is he a target man? Better than Lukaku. Okay. In that sense, mm-hmm. I don't think he's a better finisher. That is Lukaku. a controversial statement if I ever heard one. I don't. I I sort of agree with you. No, because he's but, much better touch. Is what I'm saying is he can take yeah, the ball yeah, in. Yeah. He can actually he can he can deal with. He's not as clunky. And, yeah, but he yeah. can deal with having two defenders on him, whereas I don't think Lukaku can. So I just think. That's his, as I said. I don't think he's a better finisher than Lukaku, mm. but I just think looking at him now in his early in his earlier days, I think he's doing quite well, and I think he might as think things go on. Like people might think it's controversial. I'm not saying I'm not saying he's a better player than Lukaku in any way, shape, or form. I just think he it is he's he's better centre forward played than him. He's quite small, is he? No, he's a big, is he's he? a big lad. Yeah. I just had the impression um, he was small for some reason. But, but he brings a lot of people into into play, and he's on a hot streak at the moment. Yeah, Emery Moore is another guy um, at Dortmund. You know, he's kind mm. of he's kind of that messy build. You know, he's yeah. only about six, kind of five six, small enough guy, kind of, kind of nimble. I think he's Danish or something actually. Oh, he's Danish. Yeah, Everyone's everyone just fucking different yeah. nationalities. Yeah, yeah, the Turks have a quite a you know yeah, a lot of he's, German, German, German players and stuff. Yeah, but a, a seriously good player. Um, so he's, he's a big threat as they're well. They're in a very similar position to us. That you know, this is the start of their mm. rebuilding process. They'll be looking for revenge because when when, <laughs> when we are infected, yeah. Brady scored Not that goal. Yeah. They were all going mad about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they will want to beat us off the park, and uh, you know, ultimately the result doesn't. But they're also going to have Chad and Aglu of mm. uh, East Milan. Yeah, used to yeah. play with the uh, Leverkusen. Yeah, who's unreal as well. Yeah. Decent player. Uh, you know, and I, this season, yeah, I got stats in him. Oh, oh. No, Jesus. <laughs> five goals and six assists. Yeah. And back three will take him. Yeah. 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 He's just <laughs> follow him everywhere and he just shoot from everywhere and score. Yeah, he's German born as no, well, is he? No keeper. Yeah. That's it, like, you know. And then they have Ines uh, in all place for Villarreal. Mm. And I think he's at the score on a double versus uh, Atletico to win it. Right. Yeah, no. Good so they have some, they have these two players doing well from yeah. abroad, and they seem to they seem to be they seem to struggle when they go abroad as the Turks for some reason. It's been yeah. it's been a well known thing, with, um, unless they got to Germany and just go up there, and then they become unbelievable like yeah. Ozil and Chant. that's that's going back to that kind of granny rule argument. You know, half of them are are German, but uh, but I think the other like you know we have this thing in our heads about <clears throat> Turks it's because the two thousand and two team was so good mm. and then and Roos do with it as fucking yeah, yeah, yeah and their team at Euro two thousand and eight they were class were class Kazim and, Richards yeah and the great team Nihat was brilliant <clears throat> yeah, 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 Nihat, yeah. Player. they actually uh, if you watch them at the Euros twenty sixteen they were really really Turk, poor yeah because I'd grown up oh this Turks are great and yeah, then you just yeah. watch this garbage and you're like and should they knock yeah. us out of uh, the playoffs for Euro 2000 I remember, I remember we played them in uh, was that no oh it was two th- 2000. 2000 it was a game that was played in like Bursa Sport or something yeah, Bursa, when yeah. Bursa Sport was like impossible big, to get to big and it wasn't on TV game or something like yeah, that. it was yeah it was a big yeah. fight yeah and they're they're Right, please come in and beat the shit out of us. Um, <laughs> the players, like, none of the fans. <laughs> the players, yeah. as if I was there. Um, but, yeah, I, you know, I think what, ultimately you just want a good performance from a young team. I think they have a more established squad than the squad that we've sent over. So I wouldn't be too yeah. hopeful they, of they, a win. They played, us here, they played us here a few years ago. I think they bet us 2-1. Um, John Walter scored. And they're just, they're a nice, tidy kind of, mm. tidy team to watch and technically very good. To uh, me, I, I just of, think it's going to be an open game. I, 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 I could see us getting hammered or I could see us like doing really well. It's going to yeah. be a one-way. I don't think it's going to be tight. I just think it's going to be open scoring or like nil-nil. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's a cliche to say, but the result is doesn't yeah. matter. Like it it's the performance yeah, that you're looking the, for. With the, with the new competition as well, like the opportunities we've gone through a list of it's pretty much we've picked a pretty much hipster left wing <laughs> team there. Um, like they're not going to get that many of opportunities now because yeah. there's qualifying games and it's it's all ranked exposure. So it's a handful of friendlies like this is the only opportunity they are getting mm. to, to an experiment. So I do I do agree with you, Paul. I think it'll be quite open, mm. um, and I think he's going to you know shuffle the deck a bit. But I hope he doesn't I really pick a system that just that we just sit there, just like right, we'll defend and try not to concede a goal, and you kind of come out come. What, what did we just learn from this? Because like, yeah. the point of going and playing this, the, doing the training camp, is he learns more about the players he's brought in. Then when they're all playing together, they learn more about each other, and they're playing an international match in what's going to be an intimidating atmosphere, like the Besiktas were five nil down uh, on aggregate there against Bayern Munich, and it was. Nuts! Like the fans are going mental. You're like you're already like eight one down and angry. Like, look, relax. It's going to be the exact same for this Turkey. Um, yeah, I remember. Family. So I remember we played them. Uh, I think it was like two thousand four or two thousand five or something. And they were in Lansdowne Road and they were belting out the anthem. I was at it like I was only about twelve or something, and it was it was scary. Like yeah. and I remember Richard Dunn actually caught the ball in the last minute and just booted it in. It's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> literally caught it like that and just bit it in goal was given but uh, no be an intimidating place to go probably very humid yeah um, tough kind of um, tough kind of conditions I'd say but tough as well I like that it's a tough op- opponent yeah. you know not all man again yeah exactly it's someone that you know we're playing France then in a uh, a month's time, I think. In, yeah, some of that, and then it's in a while, and then we're playing the USA, who are kind of in a rebuilding process. But we're playing like tough games. We're yeah. not playing Oman. We're not playing someone else, sure, England or something. Like we're playing decent or size. Yeah, and away friends as well, because we never really. Play yeah, we never actually away play away friends. Yeah. So that's going to be a, an experience for. It'd be good as well players. for a lot of them to get away and bond too yes yeah. Yeah. To, like, yeah. there's a lot of new blood in there and you think that they're going to stay on for long yeah, no McGuire and it'd be good for him to, to, to get to know the lads yeah. again look like yeah. they're having a good crack on Instagram today as well yeah. so, like, Brown awesome. and, and yeah. McGuire together and Horgan are, yeah. they have a little all clip the there lads, as well yeah. Yeah. and then well I seen it was a funny photo it was just like all the cork lads were off in one corner <laughs> it was uh, Brown uh, Long Moiler and who were him they were, all, yeah. they were walking off and then was McGuire mixing in with some of the other new lads and stuff like that. So it's good to see. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw read yesterday there's only four Dublin born players in the squad, which is like the smallest Stevens um, um, amount. Darty? Darty, yeah. Um, I, or maybe I'm, I don't really know, but I there's someone that said four. Four. Um, and there's, oh, who was. George. George, 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 George yeah. yeah. yeah sorry. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's like you know, like football was cousin on a Wednesday something over here. <laughs> <laughs> Get him on the phone. Tidy, yeah. tidy How's player. it going over there? <laughs> um, how, how are you recovering? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, look, if they play well, well what what are uh, score predictions? Um, there's, not, there's not that much to kind of talk about in regards to yeah. You know, it's an underwhelming squad as well. I think you know, there's a the couple of injuries and. Um, I think I think he wanted to give some people a break to let some other people come yeah. too. Yeah, I I don't know. I'd say, uh, nil all. <laughs> I don't know. We I I could see us going over and snatching a result there. I don't think morale is great with Turkey, so I think Paul's right. I think it'll be like either like six nil to them or <laughs> nil all. Like. <laughs> Reminds me of the Mexico game I last summer. Two two, two two, two two is a good show. Yeah, I I find us. Find it difficult for us to get a result over there. It pains me to say it, but I think we'll lose two one. And the yeah. score? Well, I'll sell with that. Yeah. I think I'd be happy to see him uh, cap uh, get his first real cap get, and yeah. score. Really interested to see Rice. I'm really looking forward to seeing. Him. I hope he plays because yeah, I think more people aren't really re- like if they're not invested in the result. They're more so just want to see these players Absolutely. in the jersey. Yeah. yeah. And like, oh, that looks good. Performance, yeah, like, <laughs> this is the go. future we're yeah, looking at, exactly, not yeah. just the same yeah. old kind of brown Jeff as well. Hendrick. Yeah, and then yeah. I would like to see uh, players being brought in at, at half time and subs made to give people fair uh, opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Because that I miss now, too. Come on, we've been had a scenario for too many years now with various managers where friendlies were viewed as just looking boosting their CVs, boosting the, the rankings of the team, and it was just playing the same old, same old, just to get results to look good. So mm. Have a Robbie Keane score penalties. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. One thing, actually, Rice is joining up with the under-21s after the game. That's right, yeah. So, so is someone else. O'Hara. Yeah, O'Hara, O'Hara. Yeah, so yeah. they may just kind of, they actually said, I said, I know I said in the other 
video that they might which you can check out on our YouTube channel you can uh, they might not play him from the start but they might actually because they might take him off so that he's got a bit more of a read on that was only a few minutes but yeah well, I think what, what they might do is they might have just brought him in for the experience and yeah. may not even play him I hope they don't but that, yeah. that could be another thing to look at so is he is he physically re- ready and able for <laughs> international football I know he's playing Premier League football but yeah you're that right. could be a, 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 I don't know I don't live in my own that's brain, so I don't know but you I know don't even mean? think Martin O'Neill lives in his own brain it's just like a day to day he just takes us a comes like he's the, no the, idea what his team will be the off the rails yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going who will I pick I won't pick a goalkeeper today <laughs> oh, I, think that, I, I could I could see Tosin's going for them though I could yeah, he's uh, in good form. like a header or something maybe oh well, you know like is anyone going to win a header Duff, Duffy struggled against him did he? For Brighton, yeah, for Brighton. Yeah. Oh, they played two weeks ago, didn't they? Yeah. Mm. Um, Duffy didn't do that great against him. I know he's been having a good season. But uh, hopefully he's just a, a once off. I think Duffy. Duffy's quite good for Brighton, but I think once he puts it on the Ireland jersey, it's a bit like McLean, like they just become this monster. Man, man, monster, yeah. yeah. No one's getting by Two dirty boys. Yeah. 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 No one's getting by me except Ericsson. Like, he might times. have confidence now to win the player of the year award. Yeah. 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 Did you think he was player of the year, by the way? Uh, yes. no. I think so. no, I mean, I, I, I thought he was. It depends on what way you're looking at it. Because if you're looking at it in a sense where, um, you know, okay, he's done very well in the Premier League since he's been there, but he's been there since what, September or sorry, late August to now. Yeah. And you're looking if it's in a green jersey throughout the last year, McLean's been at best play since Coleman's got injured. Yeah, I just. Yeah. If you're talking about a year long. Mm. Judging club form, yeah, it's. It's Duffy, but yeah. if international form, I saw in 2018 from. our best player was like minor or something. Because like, the, for the Wales game, no one really. Yeah, but the out. only thing about Moyler is he only got into really late in the campaign. I suppose, and, and, and then he was really it. trusted. And he's yeah. played about three games. This, I know it's international, but he's played about three games this season for a whole. And, played, yeah, and played badly as well yeah, in those Duffy, couple of games, just, you know. I thought I liked Shane Duffy, but I didn't think it was fair near. It just I thought Randolph actually um, was a good show for mm. a nomination. Uh, like that save against Wales was huge. Yeah, that's not much wrong really. Um, I thought Duffy was a good. Maybe pick. our just our, our our everything's clouded because we're thinking about how terrible it was against Denmark and yes, it's all in the bad mood. But well, I think we should just kind of leave it on that. Out. And if yeah. there's anyone thinking, you know, that Duffy should have been Player of the Year, if you thought McLean should have been Player of the Year. Or if you thought anything was different, uh, do leave us, uh, leave comments below and let us know. And um, we're looking to do a your comments show as well. So if you could just leave comments below and let, if we want us to discuss them, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as always. Thanks very much to the lads for coming on. No Thanks very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV.